Hi, I think it's about time. We can start now. Um, I see there's a couple of people that we have on here in the in um, our live meeting, so they will be able to ask some questions if they, if they want to, or they will be able to talk and interact with us a little bit later. Uh, we have a little uh, set order of how we manage this uh, webinars. We start a little bit with um, your introduction, uh, talk, uh, talk to us uh, a little bit about you, how you started the business, um, what interested you about this, uh, then you can talk a little bit about the company and then about the challenge that you want uh, the students to to help you with and how they can help you and what are you expecting from them too. So that's how a little bit how it goes and then we go into a questions and, uh, and answers um, part where everyone can ask different questions. I will have some questions too. So I'll give the floor to you. Uh, everyone uh, please enjoy. <laughs> okay, hi. Um, so my name is Michelle Rofe, and um, I'm a fashion designer. And I worked for a catalog business doing production and, um, and handling the photo shoot, the vendors, and all that uh, goes into catalog. And uh, so I've been in the fashion industry for almost um, 15 years. And um, and I also am a graphic designer, so I do both um, both things. And um, let me uh, tell you a little bit about the idea of this business and how the idea came back. Um, yes. Yes. Okay. Um, my daughter was uh, pregnant. She gave birth to a beautiful girl. Um, a year and a half ago, and um, is it okay? Yes. Oh, oh, because we can hear you clearly. <laughs> Perfect. Um, and uh, she she decided to breastfeed, and breastfeeding is very in today. It's very popular, and uh, people are returning to breastfeeding because it's very good for the baby. It's good for the mom. It's good for the relationship between the mom and the, and the baby, and, and it's a big trend uh, to go back to basic. It's a trend to be healthy, not just for the baby, but just also for the mom. And uh, so, giving um, breastfeeding is 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 becoming more popular. Uh, on the other hand, uh, women today are very busy. They have a very busy schedule. It's not like um, before they stayed home and, and had the whole time to breastfeed and, and take care of the baby. And um, they, they didn't rush to do other activities. Uh, sometimes they waited a long time before they started working again, going out and spending time with friends. Um, now, because of their busy schedule, they take the baby with them and go everywhere and uh, breastfeeding is every three hours. So it's very difficult to find a place where you can uh, breastfeed, uh, feel that uh, you're, you're, you're secure, you're free, uh, you don't feel ashamed but at the same time the baby is comfortable. Um, so we start looking for what is out there in the market and what we realize is that in the market there are breastfeeding cover-ups that you can use to give a uh, breastfeeding and you can use to nurse but they are not pretty at all. They are not feminine at all. They are more like baby cloth, baby oriented. They have uh, Toys they have, uh, uh, bears uh, uh, they have like uh, like motif. The print on the fabric are baby crochet, and the fabric is um, is not also very 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 attractive. It doesn't flow. It doesn't doesn't break. Uh, cotton or uh, nice fabrics, but that really don't go with. Um, uh, with femininity or with the look of uh, a woman that just gave birth, that she wants to look good. So we thought that we will uh, 
then we had the idea of coming up with a product that not only will be good for the baby but also good for the mom to look gorgeous and so I will explain the idea the idea was to use silk, 100% silk and um, and why silk? Silk uh, as a fabric uh, will have uh, a, a lot of um, qualities that are uh, important like um, breathable that uh, the baby can breathe through the silk so that's very important it also keep the temperature if it's cold outside it will keep the baby warm if it's warm it keeps the baby uh, cool, uh, cooler it also uh, is a, a, a very uh, it's uh, it's not uh, it, it's protected against mold, against dust, uh, so it's it's really a good fabric, a good material for uh, for that purpose, and um, and and plus it has a beautiful uh, drape. So we start looking for silk, and we found an Italian silk, uh, a very nice, beautiful silk. Uh, I I. I brought, I mean, I'm sure you went to the website, but I brought some of them so you can see um, the, the print on the cover-up. And uh, what was beautiful about the print that it's, it's not a repeated print, it's like a scenery. So uh, I will open one so you can see the, the print is different depending on uh, how you uh, put it on and also it's different from one cover-up to another cover-up depending where we cut the fabric. So it can look like this or it's a completely different print here and, and it drapes beautiful. So we, uh, that's, that was the idea and um, we started uh, to do the prototype. We did uh, the samples. And we wanted to get a, a good sample where uh, you have enough room to kind of see the baby, but at the same time, when you let it go, it just stays there and doesn't show uh, the the. The breast and um, and also the length of the of the breast, the cover up. So we wanted to not to be too long, too kind of be uh, unco uncomfortable, but at the same time long enough a and to look good um, uh, with any outfit that you go out. You want to look great. You you dress nice. You you were pregnant nine months. You could have dress nice and have nice. So you really want to show your femininity, to show that you look great. Um, we, so we bought this fabric, it's from Italy, and I'll tell the student uh, right away that we fell in love with the fabric, but that's one of the problems because it's very expensive. So the cost of the, of, of the cover-ups is very high, and we need to charge a higher price to cover the cost and to have a nice markup. We um, so we did the um, the website. I'm also a graphic designer. I have a master in graphic design. So I, and my daughter is an expert in marketing and advertising. So the two of us uh, work together to put together the a website. It's a uh, it's a nice website. We have uh, lifestyle uh, images. We have product shots. We have um, information about the silk. We have information about the product, and uh, we launched uh, the website. And um, um, and uh, oh, going back to the cost um, that I we realize it's high, but we wanted to have high price uh, because the the cover ups are different from the regular cotton with a, a not nice uh, print and it's a completely different product that we don't have in the market. 
we don't have anything similar to what we are doing. So we couldn't even compare the price to something similar. Um, we start selling and we have uh, some challenges. Uh, here are the challenges. Uh, one of them is to really get uh, people to see our product. Um, that was one challenge. The other challenge was the price was high. Uh, we lowered the price. Um, right now the price is a little bit under $198 because we realized all the cover-ups, they are two digits. We don't have anything over 100 uh, but we will need to adjust the cost and we will need to look for uh, a fabric that looks great, that it is 100% silk, that it is uh, uh, as beautiful as the Italian one, but uh, that we can get for a better price. Uh, we were paying almost $30 for the Italian fabric and uh, uh, it was 25 euros, but you need to keep the currency and the exchange uh, rate. And so that's, that's one challenge. One challenge is to promote it more, let it um, uh, uh, tell people about the product. The second challenge is to keep the cost uh, lower so we can uh, have a good markup. Um, and then uh, another challenge is for them to introduce it to a different market, introduce it in a different country. Um, and every country, every culture is different. Uh, you have places where they don't care to take off the shirt and that's it. Um, and we have countries that they are very, uh, women are very um, a traditional or you're more conservative or more um, uh, intimate and, and, and they will love to have something that looks great and um, and you can breastfeed in public and have a coffee and you put it on and you you breastfeed and you keep talking with your friend and that's okay. Um, another thing that we love about the, the, the cover-up uh, is that if you're in a restaurant, you're in a coffee, you're, you're in a, a, a public transportation, you are in a, a park, and you breastfeed and you put the cover up on, um, when the baby finish, you just leave it on because you never know if your blouse shift, if the bottom is in, button is not buttoned correctly, if if the the your blouse was uh, spotted with a little bit of milk, so you you leave it on, you take care the baby uh, is okay, or you put it into sleep, and then you can go to the room and take off the cover up and make sure that you're perfectly fine under it. It's so nice that you can just keep it on and 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 go home with it, so you don't need to take it off or. Um, so it goes over uh, a button shirt and you can unbutton and, and, and it covers you and as I said you can see uh, the baby, you can hold the baby, make sure he grabbing the start breastfeeding, then you let the fabric just flow. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you very much. I mean no, I, I think it's great that you're explaining it all because no, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I tested a whole lot of different clothes. And of course, my husband that is a man, he was thinking, well, you're trying all these ones, but why wouldn't you be able to take just one and, and be happy with one? And I was trying them all, like I was washing them every day, and uh, and they were getting, I mean, a little bit torn. I, I have two kids, so I had to baby be breastfeed for like almost two years. Oh, so wow. I understand like wow. all, all, the, all those challenges that you were having, right? Yeah. I mean, and from a business standpoint, I was always wondering because there were all the different prices. And of course, I didn't think I, ha I don't think I had yours, but uh, I had like the thirteen dollar ones, the thirty dollar ones, and the fifty dollar ones. Yeah. And like even wires. So thank you for all the explanation about uh, like how, why you can. Oh, one, 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 one more thing now that you remind me also because we are using print, not solid. Even if it has a small spot, it's not going to show. And the silk can be washed, hand washed with cold water and neutral or baby uh, shampoo or baby soap. 
Yeah, because men won't be able, I mean, all the guys that would be choosing your group would be able to understand. But from the business standpoint, um, where do you have all your um, products? Okay, uh, we uh, bring the fabric from Italy. I'm, I'm in Florida, Miami. Mm -hmm. And we, um, uh, the manufacturer, manufacturing is here in Miami. So we sew the garments here in Miami. Do you have a store? No, no, no. It's only uh, online. Uh, we, no, we didn't approach uh, stores or brick uh, and mortar stores or anything like that. Do you have, I mean, do you have them on Amazon or just a website that you have? Amazon, we have them you on on our, eBay? <laughs> our, our website, and we have them on one more website that it's made in USA. Okay. And, um, and I think that I will, because this is something that I recently joined, the Made in USA, I will add it to the information that I sent. So we can add it to the information that we sent. Okay. And uh, what is uh, what is the kind of challenge that you want our uh, students to um, to help you with? Okay. Uh, let me give me just a second because um, we 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 have it. Um, I, I know what are the challenges, but I also uh, want to make sure that it goes along with the how it's uh, uh, them. So let me just one second. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. Here. So uh, I put here like uh, number one is uh, developing a promotion and marketing uh, strategies for the product. Uh, the thing is that we. We don't have right now uh, more money to invest in the in, in, in the venture, so in the idea. So thinking outside the box or uh, strategies that uh, doesn't implicate a lot of investment, but so uh, come up with uh, uh, developing a, a product a, a promotion. Uh, that will be uh, interesting but not very costly. That's one challenge. Uh, second one is um, to identify new um, uh, new, mar new uh, markets for the product, meaning uh, different countries or different regions for the product. Um, uh, developing new market entry uh, strategies. Um, um, new features of the product. I think that we have enough features. What what we can work on uh, uh, is um, lowering the cost. Mm -hmm. and, uh, finding uh, lowering the cost so we can we can mm -hmm. be a little. We can keep then the the price, the retail price, lowering the cost. And, and another challenge, uh, very interesting for the students, is uh, because it's just one product, and if you will go to the website, you will see that we have also um, headbands that we created from uh, some of the fabric, the waste of the fabric, mm -hmm. that are nice, but we it will really a good challenge if they can come up with a product line. Uh, adding more products. So promotion, new markets, 
and adding uh, uh, lowering the cost and adding products. So we have uh, an interesting four challenges. For that. Yeah. So it would imply also uh, different distribution channels, or you would not be interested in. They can come up with a, an idea, and we can uh, consider it, uh, do or not. But I think for the student, it will be interesting to come up with ideas of uh, distri uh, different distribution channels, and not just uh, in online. Okay. And what is the production capacity? Let's say, like it would be a few new markets involved. Like, uh, would you be able to meet demand? Uh, would you be able to? Just create more. Um, I will need to know the uh, how much we are talking about because we are keeping it made in USA. We are keeping it made here, uh, so we do have uh, uh, minimum and maximum. So I will need to know what is the amount that we are talking about to uh, to say yes, we can or no, no, we cannot. Mm -hmm. So, and you mentioned you're open to start different products. I mean, uh, in the same line, but it's a new product with the same fabric that would go along with the cover up. It doesn't need to be the same fabric. It can be something that within the breastfeeding, uh, uh, different products to that specific uh, category. Uh, so, just to to have a wider. Uh, a, Product line in the same category of breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. so and that's what just uh, of. But um, can you ship your product overseas? With that? Right now we are just shipping to the U.S. But uh, it's a matter to it's all depending on if they find a vent, if they find a channel of distribution. Mm -hmm. And uh, want to work with us, we can find a way to. Did you need any permits or licenses or go through different testing um, for the product? No. It, because it's not uh, a baby's uh, outfit, like if it's a baby's pyjama you need, but this is more women's wear. So, no. Okay, perfect. No, I was just wondering, and that would be like attached to the shipping part. Sometimes they have some restrictions, or some companies, let's say, like you do something, some kind of like a little thing for Disney, and Disney will have to test if it has lead, for example. Or um, no. in California, sometimes they test the flammability of like it will ignite, or I, I, I have no idea. So I was just kind of like asking just so that our uh, students would be aware of that too. Um, I would like to know if so, someone uh, would like to ask a question from uh, from you guys that are listening. I don't know. Do you have any questions? I don't know. So, um, and on the markups, I don't know if you if you're not uh, comfortable telling us that's perfectly okay. You told us that the fabric is like thirty dollars, and I see that the way you um, how do you say like you sew it? It's on the side, so it like uses a lot more uh, fabric that than just like a square piece of fabric. So how much is your markup? Um, uh, yeah, because right now the markup is uh, forty percent, and we would like to increase it by lowering the cost. Mm -hmm. But but that's a challenge too. I mean, we can we can. You have a higher retail price. It's just a matter of uh, evaluating if it will be selling for that price. Yeah, I saw that you have different different colors. Right now, I was just reading yes. about colors and, for example, like how China would uh, I mean, would appreciate more. Like, that, for example, like they would buy something that is red just because of their of of their uh, consumer. Um, uh, perspective, it's I mean luckier, and they have, I'm supposed to buy something red. So, how many colors do you have? Your we product? have four different prints, and they can see it on the website. So it's uh, four different prints. One, the uh, two print, 
and a floral print. So it's all framed, no solids, and four different frames. That's great. I'm trying to see if anyone else. Um, and um, if you can tell us something about yourself, you already told us that you are a fashion designer and that you're involved in, uh, and also the design part of the website, right? Would you be interested in them kind of like trying, as the students trying to also uh, create this marketing uh, proposal, basically, for the other countries? Yeah, of course, they can create it. And, and why do you think moms would go and um, buy your products that are more expensive than the other ones? I think mainly because the way uh, they drape in the way you look and also the qualities of silk that I, I said that we have it on the um, um, their information and on the website. Okay. Um, we have one question from a uh, person here. How are customer needs? Uh, let me see if I can read it again. Um, or actually, you can ask Becky. Yeah, can. can we hear you? Perdona. Hello? <laughs> Hi, Becky. I, I don't know. I, uh, am I online? Yes, you are. Okay, can I uh, can I ask her that thing? Absolutely. It's nice. It's nice to have you here in uh, your presentation. Thank you. And uh, I'm Becky from uh, Kosovo. I'm a graduated as a student. Okay. And uh, my interest is on uh, how your uh, customer needs are treated if uh, they are not met with your company priorities, like uh, you mentioned the colors, you mentioned the frame. If they're going outside of your uh, priorities, like saying something special for them, how, how you treat them? Um, I'm not getting exactly your question. I, you mean that customer will want something different, like a different print or a different Yeah, color. exactly, exactly. Different colors mm -hmm. or different frame that goes goes beyond your uh, priorities oh, right, in the company. Right. No, we don't we don't have any customization or anything that we can do special for a customer. Mm -hmm. it's, it's what we have, the what the prints that we offer and the fabric that we offer. So you 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 say that you're selling uh, the fabricated ready fabricated products only, right? Right, that's correct. Okay, thank you. I have a question as well. Yes. Uh, it's about what's your current market size or share in the in the U.S. right now? Are you a small company or? A uh, uh, small company, very small company, and. Um, because it's very difficult to figure out uh, how many uh, people are breastfeeding, and we don't know exactly what uh, it's online. So it's not that we are located in a geographic area that I can say, okay, here is uh, how many people are born, and, and I kind of calculate how many women are breastfeeding. So it's a very very good question, but it's very very difficult to. To find an answer, uh, that's a good challenge. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. a good challenge. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. How do you target your um, um, market? I mean, how are you reaching them right now? I mean, we're talking about that we want to uh, give you yeah. a, a, a right. suggestion right. for that. But yeah, right now we we reach them through uh, bloggers uh, of uh, breastfeeding uh, magazines online. We have four that um, if you go on the website, you will see uh, that we have the four uh, bloggers that give information about breastfeeding and, and babies, and, um, and um, 
we uh, published with them our product, and they talked about our product. So, so far, it's these four online magazines, uh, bloggers, that uh, published us. Yeah, that is very interesting because you're telling us because it was your your uh, daughter that because of your daughter's experience that you started this. So is your daughter part of all these blogging uh, groups uh, and all of this is how, that's how you got I mean all your hints? Um, yeah, we started because she was breastfeeding and uh, she is in advertising and uh, marketing. But um, right now she's not very involved. Um, she also has two restaurants to run the marketing and advertising and um, so it's impossible for her to cover everything mm -hmm. and um, but um, so she she's not actually blogging or, or writing or so we we have uh, some um, that we introduced to the bloggers we have some movement on Facebook but not much. So you would say mainly social media is uh, your main uh, channel of like promotions and yeah, yeah I will say it's one, one but not very active one. Okay. Uh, I have a question. Yes. Uh, do you think that your current marketing method, so basically marketing yourself through bloggers has been successful uh, or uh, do you believe that there is more that can be done that is uh, yeah. restricted because of the budget issues? Exactly. No, I think there is more that can be done um, because uh, we um, we are not selling as much as we want to. Um, so yes, absolutely. Okay. Mm. And we had this question. But before, I mean, once before, with another one of our uh, uh, people in the webinars, and it was like, would you consider reinventing the product to create a cheaper version or a more affordable version? Yeah. I wouldn't say a cheaper, just right, 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 cheaper, right. Like, let's say another fabric. Yeah. Or, yeah, 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 and that's yeah, that's one of the things that uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, I was um, mentioning is that. The cost of the, the the Italian silk is very high, and uh, and really to carry the profitable business, uh, yes, uh, maybe uh, lowering the cost and uh, in using a silk that is uh, more affordable will be a very good solution. Mm -hmm. uh, because it will change probably, probably a good solution. Yeah, because it will probably like change the strategy. Let's say you're going to go from um, uh, much more of a different uh, product and a high and high cost and much more quality product to a mass uh, selling product. So that, that was uh, yeah, my, my we, question going to right, right. We want to keep that uh, that it's uh, 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 an elegant and uh, more distinctive and a little bit more of like a luxury, but uh, but competitive at the same time. Okay. And uh, as you said that for the moment you only sell online, uh, right. let's just say for example if we find a new market, uh, would it be uh, okay to, uh, for example, sell them in stores uh, through other distributors like luxurious uh, distributors or stores or etc. so that people uh, can actually feel the product or see it rather than just order it online from directly from your website? Uh, yes. Uh, it's a possibility. It's just um, we'll be investing more money into producing uh, uh, more samples. So depending on how many stores, and, but if they if they want to show the product, uh, uh, yes. Okay. I mean, it's it could be like, uh, for example, starting in a small scale rather than just right. shipping everything. Of course. So okay. Right. If Are you already selling to other companies or are you selling to customers, to persons? I direct sell. Okay. If you were to say where your customers are right now, would you say they're all in Florida or 80%, 90%? Uh, 
fifty percent? No, it from different uh, states, different regions, and no particular one that I noticed that I'm getting like from a particular uh, region or area or state. In the blog, in the blog, uh, the blogs that you use are they uh, specifically like yes. with a location, or they are more like nationwide? They are nationwide, specifically for BirdSpeed. Okay. Uh, like uh, tell us something about. I mean, you as a business owner, we always have a little bit uh, uh, curious to know um, how you manage um, your life and work and. And having your own time, but doing it on your own time, you can talk to us a little bit about that. I mean, there's several entrepreneurs also maybe here in the in the audience that are going to be listening to you. Okay, it, it's very small right now, so it's uh, I'm doing other things too, and uh, so it's just uh, a matter of I of doing or working and, and starting your your own idea or your own business is without letting the other things. Uh, you need to keep doing what you're doing and when it starts growing then you can uh, have more people helping you or dedicate more time to it. But um, but that's, that's how I feel like I'm still doing my uh, I'm a fashion professor. I also do some uh, editing. We do we do uh, videos. We do I do many things. So I I really am a person that uh, do many things at the same time. At the same time. And it, because we started it very small, it's a very small company. Oh, I, I I keep doing other things up to. Yeah, what are more one of the more, uh, the biggest challenges that you have? I mean, I know money is constrained, and but um, um the biggest challenge um, is uh, because the fabric is from Italy, is too much the uh, lead time. Because from the moment you order the fabric, it will take. Sometimes 30, 40 days to get a fabric, and then you need to manufacture. So that's a that's 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 a challenge because if you want to um, produce more, you need to produce them within the time limit, and uh, and it's a little bit of uh, restrict to you with the timing. So that's one. Mm. Is production uh, made in Florida? Yes. In Miami? Okay. I uh, I have a question. Can uh, you please tell us a bit more about the, your pricing policy? How your price are given? How the your price are formed for your okay. products? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good question. Uh, so uh, we have the cost, and we have our markup um, that we started with, and um, so with with the uh, with the markup that we wanted to have. Uh, we were around um, over a hundred and fifty dollars, and it was too expensive. So we lowered the markup uh, mm -hmm. to be un uh, under the one hundred dollars. But uh, the markup is now is too small, so the idea is to lower the cost so we can keep a, a more decent markup. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so the production is around sixty dollars, and uh, we need to lower it to something around maybe thirty, forty dollars. So get a decent markup. Okay. So, all, so all we know that uh, being a female entrepreneur is a it's a bit challenge, and uh, how your challenges are. Uh, in a, in the meaning of your your competing with other companies for the same products, are they coming from a female entrepreneur owned companies or either male or outside the United States companies? How are your biggest yeah. challenges are? They are basically a U.S. companies. They are very different because the product is not high end product like what we have in mind. 
they use a different fabric, different print. So it's I don't see that we have I don't see any anything like our idea out there in the market. But what we have in the market are uh, American companies, big companies, big companies. So it's also very hard to compete with them because they will have the the space on the internet. They have the resources, resources to be there. Okay. Okay. Thank you. What uh, and if only if you can share this with us. You don't need to. Do you, if you feel that. Uh, Something that you want uh, to keep private, that's okay. But uh, what is your production and what is your uh, sales? For you? Yeah, right yeah. I, I can just um, give you a couple percentage, but just give the numbers. So um, uh, we kind of start with uh, our investment, and uh, we are kind of. Re re I, Return forty percent, fifty percent. So we uh, of the investment. So we are still, uh, we didn't even break even yet. And uh, in the investment, uh, I'm including the, uh, the the samples and uh, developing the product, the developing of the product, the photo shoot. Um, Session, the website, and all of that. Um, the fabric, and that we, uh, the fabric and the manufacturing. So right now, I will say that uh, we have 50% uh, return on investment. Okay. What would you say is the the biggest uh, cost or expense in your business? Oh. Fabric. Okay. No, I mean our time is about to finish, but I wanted to open the, the floor up uh, if anyone else has more questions, and uh, I think there's one more person in there. Um, I have a question. Um, you said, uh, what's your current shipping or uh, sending methods? You're selling oh, in the U.S. How yes. are you sending it to the, to the customer? Yeah, good question. Uh, it's uh, We do free shipping, and uh, we use uh, U.S. Uh, Postal service and uh, it's a uh, it's prior priority three to four days and shipped in the U.S. Okay, so no FedEx or DHL. Oh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anything else? I think. Did Beckham have a question last month? Okay. So I think so thank you very much for all your uh, important information thank sharing you so with much. us uh, this information about the company, your personal information. <laughs> um, it's certainly a, a matter that I mean it's interesting and it's very I mean um, important to all the moms. <laughs> right. And it's good to be a it's very good. It's excellent. I mean, and, and it's good because you understand the product. Yeah, I know. And every time, I mean, I'm telling, like, even if it's as a gift uh, right. Right. option and Absolutely. things like that, I mean, it's yeah. a gift, it's a promotion thing. I mean, every time I have someone that is <laughs> right. like giving birth, I think about all these things that are very important that were like trouble for me. So that's why I like, I can. Um, Relate, and I even like find gifts for people, and I can see like you really, really like uh, getting into the blogging scene, and I mean into the blog, getting involved in the blogs that people are uh, publishing, and um, and how they are uh, important to your business or the, the the method that you have found. So it was very interesting to learn all about this. And. I just wanted to show up at the end and okay. say that it was a very interesting discussion. And, uh, thank you so much. Okay. So everything is excellent, Vaz. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much. So we will send everyone a link to the video recording in case you would like to have it for your files. So it will take us a few hours to process and cut it and you know, make it available. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Thanks. Yeah. Bye -bye. So I guess no, no, hold on. Still end broadcast first. Yeah.